In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add your in-game stats to your stream. Yo guys, welcome back to another video on our channel and today we're going to be taking a look at how you can get your in-game stats on your stream. As you can see on screen right now, you can get literally any competitive game right now from Fortnite, Valorant to Rainbow Six, Call of Duty, Rocket League, PUBG, The Division even. So there's plenty of games that you guys can track your stats on and get them on your stream. Just quickly before I do let you know how to do this guys, if, please do smash that subscribe button for more Call of Duty tips and tricks, class up videos and update videos on the game. If this video does help you out, let me know in the comments below and please smash a like on the video as it really does help me out. Let's try and hit 15 on this one. Right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is come over to the website tracker.gg. I'll leave this link top of the description. Then once you're on the website, what you're going to need to do is pick your game of choice. I play more Call of Duty than anything else, so I will go on Call of Duty for example. Obviously now you have the option to install the desktop app, which is up to you. You can do this if you want. It doesn't make any difference to tracking your stats on stream. So then all you got to do is enter your ID for whichever game and platform you're playing on. For me, for me, I've just picked my Warzone stats. So these will load up right now. Right guys, so once you have found your stats on here, which you can see right now my stats are on screen, you're going to want to come to this top search bar up here, and you're going to find the OBS overlay. So what you're going to want to do is click this, it will take you to another page, and then you'll come to the custom stream overlays page. Again, just click create your overlay, and then you can come to the right hand side where it says game and variant. I'm going to obviously pick Warzone, as that's what I'm playing all the time. Variant, I'm going to go for the horizontal banner, as I do prefer it. But all you're going to have to do is search for your profile, again, exactly the same thing as before. So what I'm going to do is click enter on my name. As you can see, my stats have now come up on screen. You can change your colours to whichever you want to choose. Obviously, you can make them really, really random. You just do whatever you want. You can customise this to your colour theme or whatever colours you want to run. Obviously, on Warzone, you can make it so it's just your plunder stats, just your battle royale or your, your, your combined stats. Literally up to you. Obviously, that's the horizontal banner and this will be the box banner. Again, your choice of which you want to use for that. I put the horizontal banner, I think it just looks a bit cleaner. So then all you're going to want to do is click save changes. And then all you have to say once you've clicked save changes is take this link, copy it, and then we're going to bring up, we're going to bring over um, Streamlabs OBS right now. Then all you're going to want to do is go to add new source. You're going to have to click, and you have to click browser source, add source, uh, just for example make a new one. Stats. Like that. enter that one add the source and then just paste that link that you've just copied in here all you have to do is make sure you uh, do a refresh browser when scene becomes active click done it's literally there then you can hold alt just to uh, to scale it to your site to the right size properly to get rid of that dead space so it's easier to size up and then there you go boys that is it literally as easy as that it's now in there, you can obviously place it wherever you want, layer it, copy and paste it anywhere. These stats update, I believe it's like every 15 minutes or something. But if you find that they're not updating, all you want to do is make them hidden and then bring them back up again. It will reload itself, the stats will be updated. So there you go guys, that is literally as simple as it is. If you are struggling for whatever reason and need some more help, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I'll try and answer you the best way possible and as soon as possible. Like I said, if this video has helped you out, please do smash a like on the videos. It really, really does help me out. And if you are new around here, please do smash that subscribe button and turn notifications on. I'm streaming every single day at 2pm UK time at the moment, so be sure you don't miss them. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching all the way to the end. I'll catch you on the next one in a bit. Peace.